sometimes, yeah, sometimes. We're recording the Ross series with Gabrielle. Sometimes, I used to yeah, do skateboard and ride there. I pretend like I'm real close. Sometimes, just yeah, sometimes, I have to put my life on hold. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, I can't dream because. Hey guys, welcome to Raw Series Season 2. It will be a little bit different uh, in the sense that I have a new cameraman right now. It's my cousin. Uh, he will follow me everywhere because my goal with the Raw Series is to show you a little bit of everything that I'm doing because I know that a lot of you and a lot of people in the world are seeking for approval to do things and sometimes you need to see someone else do it before you start doing it just because you can see the possibilities in front of you and you can see what is doable if you want. Um, so the Raw series is just to share with you a little bit of my life, a little bit of my past, my future, my goals, uh, the way I work, the way I am, and how I've been able like, to create the lifestyle that I have today. Uh, by starting with literally nothing, I was just a student and I had $300 in my bank account. And what I wanna share with you is how you can be successful in anything that you want and just reach your goal. And it's not just a, a talk of like, ah, oh, so inspirational and just, just do it. It's, it's really showing what is happening behind the scene and who I am and what I'm doing and the way I behave. And I'm sure you will be able like, to take a lot of things from it and just apply it in your life and also see uh, that you're capable as well to reach whatever you want, no matter in which industry you want to perform. It's, if it's not related to fitness, there, it's all right. I mean, it's not just what I'm doing, the way I work and my work ethic can be applied in any industry. For me, I wanted to become a fitness model. I wanted to do that. But um, I mean, you can just replicate it in any industry, fashion, whatever you want to do, seriously. Um, it's possible. And what I like about our time right now is you can just have a computer or your your cell phone, just your iPhone, and you can record anything, and you can make YouTube videos, or you can even build a website with your phone, or you can even like just contacting like anyone in the world, a supplier or a friend, or uh, creating connection just at your fingertips. It's insane, and a lot of uh, a lot of people forget how oh, it's accessible, you know, to everyone to succeed and just to create something. A lot of people I've seen like comments. Uh, yeah, but like in your country, it's really uh, it's easy to build a business, or yeah, in your in your country, you have a different salary. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, in any like in my country, the salary that people get, it's if you're getting like the minimum minimum wage, it will be hard for you to build something. And I mean, if you don't build something by yourself, you won't succeed in any country. And what is nice about 2016, 2017, and the the years to come is we can destroy this barrier of like being in your own country or in your city that there's nothing there just because you have a connection to internet. So uh, yeah, that's my goal with the Raw series. Right now I was preparing myself to go to the gym. I edited a video uh, that will be released tomorrow. And uh, here is just emails and stuff from uh, Team Fit members. But yeah, that means so that's the mess right now that I have like uh, on my desk. I'm working, my, my office is actually like over there. Uh, like in, the, I will show you my office after, but here is just because um, it starts to be really warm outside and the air conditioning doesn't go to my office. It's kind of like weird. So I just brought my, my iMac here and uh, yeah, just to work. So raw things and I'm excited just to share everything with you. Um, so yeah, now I'm taking some concurries to just pump matrix. This is my pre-workout. I'm going to the gym in about like five minutes. Oops, sorry guys. And uh, this is Joey Ornyak. He's working here really often. He's well built. <laughs> he got everything to succeed. Thanks, yes. It's uh, my little uh, protege, protege. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just show you my office. So right now, there's people who work here usually. It's not just empty like that. Uh, it's just, it's the end of the day. It is uh, 6.45, no, 5.45. And people usually stop working around three to five or something like that. But there's some as well who come like later, like around 7 p.m. There's some who's arriving and will work until like 10, 11. So yeah, I'm, it's, it's kind of a shame. My office is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just the, 
the casual stuff, you know, that's raw, you know, I didn't clean it, it was just this way. Usually my iMac is just there. I have my Thunderbolt display and I work here. I like to work with two screens because I can have like on my left screen, I have all my, you know, the email, the iMessage, WhatsApp, uh, Facebook Messenger, my calendar, Asana, the task management uh, software that we use, just on my left. Everything that doesn't need my attention is on my left screen and on my main screen, my iMac, uh, 5K display, and I want to precise it because it is the best thing I, I invested in. Uh, maybe not like the best thing, but one of the best thing I invested in this, this year because I'm in front of my computer during 12 to 15 hours a day easily. So a Thunderbolt display, the, the resolution is not the same. The 5K is just when I edit a pic or when I just work and just the text, it's not kind of like a little bit blurryish, you know? It's really clear, sharp, and um, I feel that I can see better. Here it's my uh, podcast microphone or when I do a voiceover. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's just a shelf with the, some cameras on the top and lenses. And uh, that's it. So that's my office. I want to share share that with you. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool in, in the sense of I started at. Uh, how can I say that? Like I was working downstairs at my father's house during like two years before getting an office for myself and all the uh, people who work here. That's a standing desk. So I found out that my lower back was really in pain when I was just working seated. So. We got these desks so uh, we can just change our position being stand, stand still or being seated and it's uh, really useful and cool to work uh, and have more energy when you're standing. So yeah, that's it. Now it's time to the gym. I will just switch my watch um, because I cannot like time myself with a, a fossil watch. So taking a G-Shock is the best watch. You cannot break them. It's pr pretty much like impossible to break one. And I'll be wearing the Nat Rise at today. Oh, will be good. I like to wear a hat at the gym. I don't know. Uh, a lot of people like comment like, "Why are you wearing a hat at the gym? Stupid." I don't know. Here in Canada, like we wear flannel at the gym. We wear whatever we want. So, huh, Joey? Have you ever had like this comment like, "Why are you wearing like a hat or oh, yeah. a Benny's at the gym?" <laughs> but yeah. So this is my bag. I have uh, my gym clothes in the car. And uh, yeah, I don't have any socks though because I'm wearing Crocs at the moment and they have painting on it. I don't really care about like my shoes really. I'll do a Snapchat about the Raw series. Hey guys, so right now we are recording the Raw series with Gabrielle or Gabrielle, but Gabrielle in French. Uh, we're going to the gym with Joey Orniak. It will be epic. That's the type of stuff that I'm doing like pretty often. Snapchat, Instagram posts, Facebook posts. We're wa always waiting after him. Just kidding. Uh, it's the opposite. It's me. I'm really slow. <laughs> Usually I can sip my pro workout during like an hour, an hour 30 before going to the gym. Um, I don't know. It's just the way I am. Like when I'm really wired or really like in the zone, I prefer get things done and sometimes I just have like an idea and I, I need to do it. Um, it's just the way I am. If I have something and I want to create something, I just build it right away because I can and because I want to see it in the physical world. Uh, it can be a web page, can be a video, can be a, a design of clothes, can be a whatever, it can be a button for the website, you know, just to have people sign up to our newsletter, it can be anything. But as soon as I want to do something, I just build it myself. Rocco, do you want to go pee? Let's go. We brought Rocco from Costa Rica. We went there in, uh, is it February, uh, January for two weeks. We rent a villa. That was like the best trip of my life in terms of vacation. And we brought him back. Basically, Rocco was uh, at the villa that we were. There's people who just take care of the villa and um, Basically, they, they had a dog who had Rocco and uh, we wanted him. So we asked if we, we can buy it and bring it home. And they told us no at first, but three, four days after they told us yes. So we bought him for $150 USD. And then we had to go to uh, the vet and get all the... Uh, Rocco? Rocco? 
You can say Rocco in English or Rocco in French. Oh, there is <laughs> make his uh, make his territory. Rocco, yeah, they see. Hey, Rocco. It's because he speaks Spanish. This is raw thing, guys. Yes. I'm losing my pants. I'm running after Rocco. Rocco, yeah, they see. Oh, sure. The FBCAs. No? Yeah. yeah, I'll okay. take some. I was asking if I had like my wallet. <laughs> it's a, it's a man. Yeah. That always happens to me with my phone. <laughs> That's a good thing, guys. And I know uh, some of you will write down. Uh, he sounds like George St. Pierre. Um, basically, we're the, from the same place, Montreal. Joey as well, but Joey, um, he's just he was speaking English first. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's quite, it's quite different. Like when you go that more to English this. English school, so. Yeah. Not me. I was super bad in English. Um, I used to not be able like, to order like even McDonald's. So when I had like a trip to with my friend to the US to do some surf, like I was the first, uh, I was the driver. So I had like to order for everyone because we were like in a minivan. And uh, basically I wasn't able like, to take the order for people. <laughs> I was just turning red and not being able like, to speak English. And then um, I started to train after that and all that stuff. And then I realized that I needed like, needed to speak English to uh, make my mark and just be able like to inspire more people. So that's why I learned to speak English just by watching series and movies in about a year. And then I started my fitness career. And even like my first year, I wasn't talking in my videos. I was just putting subtitle with uh, mistaking it. <laughs> uh, and then I just practice and practice with Matt, who's just uh, my right arm, basically. He's just helping me with everything. Um, so yeah, he was just always uh, taking care of my English and all my posts guys are correct uh, by him. So I write down my post and then I need to have someone to correct it because I don't want to post something with a mistake in front of like six million people, uh, considering like Instagram and Facebook. It'll be quite a shame. <laughs> Oh, well, we got a place of choice. Guys, so right now we are at the gym. We just arrived at the gym. Uh, we are also recording a raw series. So we have uh, Gabriel right there just recording me doing whatever I'm doing. Just a gym near our office. So we are working out here with the team pretty much uh, every day. I would say like five, six times a week for sure. Usually I was re uh, working out like seven days a week during like a good three weeks, four weeks, even like sometimes some months. But I found out that with the work that I have right now and uh, everything that I'm doing, it's quite hard to maintain that intensity during seven days in a row. So yeah, at the gym right now. So I'm not sure if we will hear well, like probably my, my voice, but like there is, Copyrighted music, so I don't know if I will put the sound of the gym. H2 Performance, we're there and we, we could put like our own music in it. So, but here is just stupid whatever. Yeah. Let's see. What's up? So, yeah, guys, uh, right now Joey is making like the workouts. Usually I train by myself, but I asked Joey like to do one just to do something uh, different. different and have uh, maybe a new perspective because he trains really well and I wanted to try something new. So I just asked him, like, let's create a back workout. We'll do that today. And uh, yeah, I just finished like the the Limitless Camp workout. For me, the, the campers are still doing like the, the next three weeks during the workout, but I already did my four weeks oh, of yeah, this I, phase. So yeah. I'm, I don't have any uh, phases right now or anything, so I just go uh, with the flow. And I did a leg workout with Mark and man, it was intense. <laughs> we, I, my legs were hurting like- You see just days. black points everywhere and just like- My oh. legs were killing like two days after and yeah, it was, so it yeah, was, it was good. intense. <laughs> uh, I'll try not to swing too much. Whoa, shit. Up. Nice and slow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, sure is good. Like with the BCAs guys, like the injury, you can literally like, just put it in the uh, freezer and just take it as a popsicle. Mix it with ice, yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll be so good. Oh my god. 
it's literally like tasting like candies, even like the um, black cherry, so good. So, uh, how many reps? 10 reps. Yeah. Um, the first two reps are, the first two sets are 10 reps each and the third set is six reps. It's drop sets, so meaning you're gonna lighten the weight and hit it back to back with 15 reps, so. Okay, cool, sounds good. Yeah, that was a good uh, finisher. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> more, more, always more. <gasps> oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Nine, uh, one more. Uh. Mm. Ah. That was a good weight. Uh. Easy. Uh, especially the two reps. Oh my god. I'm not looking forward to this, but at the same time I look forward because we need to push ourselves. And sometimes you get just in a comfort zone of just doing the exercises that you want. That's why it's good like to have a trainer. I never had like a trainer, uh, apart to you like now, or like when I'm with Lex, sometimes we'll just do like his, work or his, his workout. Other than that, always by myself, but I, I push myself, but sometimes it's just, you like to do the, not the easy stuff, but what you're the, the best at, you know? Let's go for six. Uh. Uh. One. Oh. Uh. Easy, easy. Uh. Uh. No, we need to lower it. Yeah, let's say about, uh, just below your knees, so probably like, yeah, 26. <laughs> I'll go get my belt in my car because do we have a tiny, tiny waist? <laughs> What's the size of your waist? I'm like 31. I don't know, man. We're probably on, like 29. We're on there. Uh, I guess it depends on the days. <laughs> right, forget it, forget it. I'll just go rough. Oh. Raw. <laughs> First episode, everything raw. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty raw. <laughs> Pull the sword. One more. Okay. Yeah. I make fart. It's annoying because I don't have any socks, so my feet are just like super wet and it's kind of like moving in it. It's really uh, disgusting and dirt. <laughs> okay, so 15 reps, standing pullover.
in super set width, bent over row on the cable. to be exhaust. <sighs> yeah, with the flare of the sun. I just feel like I start to be really depleted. It's been like over, that's on 7.23. Oh, it's been like five hours I didn't eat. Shit. Sometimes you just get caught like in work and Forget about that. We had like meetings and also uh, we're talking with suppliers and I like meetings to do a tour like in stores that the products are in. Uh, yeah, it took more time than I expected so I didn't have like time to eat. Just came right to the gym because I had to do the raw series. Not had to, I wanted to so <laughs> yeah, I hate saying that. I had to, I had to, no. Do what you want. Sometimes, man, sometimes it gets hard trying to reach my goal. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I pretend like I'm real close. Yeah. Back to the office right now. We'll work, but awesome weather. The sky is so blue. Did you adjust the camera? It's actually his first time that he records something, guys, so I'm kind of teaching him like how to do it. Just eat some tuna and rice. I stop at a grocery. So guys, I, I used to do skateboard right there. I don't know if you will be able like, to switch your uh, shutter speed, but you will see. I was doing skateboard every day during like five years, pretty much there. It was one of the skate parks that I was going. Me and Mark are gonna go do skateboard in that skate park. Yeah, I'll go buy a skateboard. We cannot today because all the stores are closed at 7 p.m. But yeah, I'll just go buy like shoes and a skateboard because your shoes just get messed up. <laughs> There's nothing to do with that. An helmet, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it will be. It's been like years, probably like four years. Easy. Yeah, <laughs> more than four years. I was doing like slides and stairs, like just all these over like six, eight, ten, th ten stairs. That's good. Competition as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I want like to, uh, like my final year before I had a girlfriend, guys, because it's a girl who made me stop skateboarding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was doing competition and I was starting to record my um, videotape because it was all on tape to uh, be sponsored by uh, a skateboard shop. What? Ouais, là, t'en es tu Mais là, je t'en mets des coups, là. Je vais le mettre en sport, là, c'est plus ça. Un est-tu de shape, toi, en tout cas? Hey, guys. How do they say if, it? If I have, like, some uh, I'll see friends on this channel, do you have IGA in Australia? That's my question. I'm sure you have some. If I remember, I've seen one. But I'm not totally sure. It's a good thing, man. People, I, I think people will love the Raw series. It's really... Uh, raw as we can say something that they are not used to see and just seeing me sending you a voice matt <laughs> uh tuna let's get some rice uh, i'll get this one i'll get four can 149 good deal workout shake and then food so guys this is it for the first episode of the raw series so we had a little talk in the beginning then the workout and now uh, i didn't record like the beginning of the day because i was waiting this microphone and as well i want to change the episode and i want i want to show uh, pretty much everything and just what i'm doing and what i'm up to and everything that i feel that can help you to 
to see the potential of what's possible and to just inspire you to go after what you want. So right now, I just ate. I will go back to work. I will be alone in the, uh, in the office until probably a good 9.30, 10 p.m. I need to do a, a bunch of stuff. And tomorrow, I need to go um, south short on Montreal because I have a, a meeting with uh, our, our printer, clothes printer, and we will do that. And then I have no idea, it's just like my day is just not planned really, but I know I have a bunch of stuff to do. I also need to do um, accounting stuff, the thing that we don't like to do. And so yeah, and what you can expect from, from the RAW series, it's pretty simple. As I said in the beginning, it's just things that can help you to go after what you want and see what, not only what's possible, but also see that you don't need to ask permission to start something, you can do it too. And I'm learning in the process, I'm failing often, really really often i fell on this channel like for example i didn't post for a while and it was just old stuff you know old content and i thought that the rusty will be a good um, a good way to to come back and just to share what i'm up to i'm going next week to uh, italy I have a contract there and then i'm going to florence rome and france so i'll bring you with uh bring you with me in europe and also in terms of like business i will not share like the businesses that I own or exactly like the products that we are working on or the way that we design stuff and the way that we tweak stuff, the, the clothing that fell and then we need to change like the measurement or a bunch of stuff. The reason why is just, I don't want my name to be above one of the company that I own. I want my, all my brands to be their own and to have their own identity, you know, to be themselves. So if I die, they can run forever. You know, my partner is not in, in shit if I die or my family can still have something if I die. It's not like breaking the image of the company and it's not, it's, it's, it's his own identity and it's his, its own energy and own movement, you know, it's not the Marfit movement and I just created my brand, it's cool. Um, I did that with the Team Fit clothes, be on yourself clothes and now it's just time to move on, you know, to move to uh, bigger things and to, to build a legacy, not only for myself, but for, for my family, for the people around me, and to be able like, to, to inspire people with what I create. The main focus is always to create an awesome experience and always to, to create awesome product that you can use anytime that it's, it's not failing you, you know? It's always about the experience and the quality of the product. But I will be able like, to share a lot of core things without going to, to like in details but you will learn a lot and a ton. Um, so yeah, that's it. Beautiful day here in Montreal. And uh, that's the final clip of Raw Series Season 2, Episode 1. If you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends. It will help the, se help the series. And it will also uh, be a good sign that you enjoy uh, the video because you can see like thousand and thousand of views, but you know, you're not seeing the same amount of likes. So if you like this episode, like it. I would appreciate it. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace. Sometimes, man, sometimes It gets hard trying to reach my goal Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I pretend like I'm real close Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I have to put my life on hold Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I can't dream because